Okay, so time's nearly up. Oh, what a shame. Yeah, what a shame. Oh. Um, can I put the last question to you? Yes. Okay, so mm. in your opinion, what is the weakest point and the strongest point of Vietnamese students? Mm. Compared to other students from other countries? Um, in my opinion, I think students, um, particularly learning a second language, um, are the same all over the world. I don't try to generalize um, and put everybody and try to set. I don't like to generalize. I don't like to say that. Well, it's the same for everybody. It's it's not the same for everybody. Mm -hmm. um, there are certain things that are the same. You know, motivation, trying to uh, work hard. Mm -hmm. um, but in my opinion, um, Vietnamese students, particularly. Um, are at a large disadvantage um, and this is because if we look at students who are learning English in um, Sweden or Germany or France or other places around the world the advantage they have is that they share a common Western culture okay? many of those countries Sweden Poland Germany France had huge empires in the past all right and so um, Europe became a melting pot of many, many uh, different uh, languages, but the culture, the Western culture re remained. And that culture was then exported to England, and then from England and France, it came to North America and Americans. So you can see that um, those students um, in, in Europe um, do have advantage because, in my opinion, um, IELTS tests, TOEIC tests, mm -hmm. TOEFL IBT, are all culturally biased in favor you know, of, of Western civilizations. Mm -hmm. This is not the Vietnamese student's fault, it just means that they have to work harder to understand you know, some of the context of the questions being asked on these tests. Mm -hmm. And a lot of time we have to spend time giving uh, students you know, uh, cultural information and, and background mm -hmm. so they understand what some of the questions um, are asking. So I would say then um, Vietnamese students have a disadvantage because the ideas and customs that they're uh, being tested on and that they have to deal in the classroom are kind of foreign to them. Mm -hmm. On the other side, uh, the advantage that I think um, Vietnamese students have, as with a number of other um, countries, um, they have a lot of support and encouragement uh, to learn. I believe there's a great deal of respect for learning and education in Vietnam, and this is certainly uh, spearheaded by uh, by parents mm -hmm. and also by the culture. Um, going back, you know, in, in, in even in ancient times, you know, with the influence of the Chinese, the idea of learning and and, and having examinations and progressing uh, was very important. And I find that that exists today. I, I find that the um, the parents here will go to great lengths and great sacrifices to ensure that their children get a um, good education. So, I, so I, uh, I respect that a great deal. And I think that's the advantage is you've got a culture that appreciates and respects learning. So I think that helps them overcome some of the disadvantages. Yeah. Uh, so the weakness lies in cultural difference, right? Uh, primarily, yes, I, I believe so. Yeah. And so what can we do to solve that? Like. Should we watch some movie on HBO or star movies to understand more about the culture? Or should we read some books about the culture in Europe or in America? Um, I guess you could in your spare time, but I don't think that's the focus of students to learn um, a great deal about another culture. They're, they're busy with their work, they're busy with their university, and unless they're going overseas to study, um, in which case it's a good idea to learn something about the culture that you're going to study in. Mm -hmm. But generally, um, no, just accept that the uh, tests like TOEIC and IELTS and TOEFL um, are, are indeed culturally biased, but it's just something that you get, that you get over. You know, don't worry about it so much. Is it a disadvantage? Yes, it is, um, in a way. But hard work and motivation and dedication, and, um, and you'll, you'll get over that. So, no, you don't need to waste your time, you know, uh, studying the, um, the, the history of Western civilization. Okay. Yeah, thank you for your help today. Mm -hmm. uh, we have been, you know, honored to have you here answering us some questions. 
Okay, thank you. Well, thank you. I hope you'll invite me back again. <laughs> yeah, okay? of course. And next time, time. Yes, and next time you order me a beer, okay? Uh, okay. Right, thank you. Definitely. Thank <laughs> no, you. That's okay. Bye.